precious souls. Welcome to a twin flame journey. I'm Aura and this is a podcast on twin flames. For more videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So we desire this relationship with a particular person, but are we truly just desiring the relationship with ourselves, our soulful selves, because that is who our twin flame is after all, another version of you who is also growing, who is learning, and who is the version, whether or not they are a matrix or a spiritual twin flame does not matter, but they are the version of you that came here to experience a soulful journey just like you. So when we are trapped with this romanticizing idea of being with them and how can this happen, how can we reunite with a person and it gets, it just gets so complicated and it's complicated because we sort of make it that way. But you also have to remember that this is a soulful journey. So we feel like everything we are doing is wrong, but in reality, it's just leading us down another opportunity towards a soulful union. But it's truly important to just be patient with yourself as you sort of go through all of these motions. But it's really simple, and Aura is going to really make it simple for a lot of listeners out there. Just do soulful things. Explore your horizons. Explore who you are. Because you don't need them physically around you to discover this. Because it's not really about figuring out a code or what I need to do to be with them. You are already this beautiful, abundant, individual soul who is expanding on this journey. So when your twin flame isn't connecting with you in the physical world, talking to you, ghosting you, blocking you. They're basically doing you a favor and telling you, I'm not ready yet to soulfully indulge in this. But also, they're saying neither are you. So when and if you discover the soulful path, the authenticity of who you are, then an energetical shift begins to occur. And then they start to sort of visualize who you are. In this lifetime, they start to get curious because if they truly are another version of you walking this earth, the rest does not matter because it sort of becomes an automatic pull when you start doing these things. And I don't mean taking care of your body and all of those things, which are good, that's important, but what I mean is feeding your soul because the rest will follow after. It doesn't matter the when, the how, the why, really, because basically it already is. So when it already is and you're so focused on what isn't happening, well, then you're sort of backtracking from everything you just said. And when you come to this energetical space of not needing your twin flame or rejecting them because of the external actions they are taking with the ghosting and blocking and yada, 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 completely just disappearing on you and that's it but that's all you need to know because that will sort of tell you if you are on the right track or perhaps you know aura likes to refer it as a gps where you know you take and i believe i've mentioned this in some of in some of my other videos where you take a turn and maybe you missed your turn and then all of a sudden the gps is saying rerouting so Either way, what's occurring is everything is right on track. When it comes to this journey, everything is happening how it's supposed to happen, even though it sort of looks like it's not. But that's when we often forget, and that's when we allow ourselves to sort of believe that it needs to happen a specific way or right now, right this very minute. But when we deeply think about it and our twin flame is blocking ghosting us, ignoring us, we think to ourselves, well, what if they showed up right now? Do you think you'd be ready for it? Your soulful self appeared, showed up right now. Do you think you'd be ready? And if your answer is no, and they aren't talking or speaking to you, then that's kind of why. But if you are saying to yourself, yes, 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 I'm ready. And you, you're saying that because you feel it 
or you're saying that because your human self just wants it to be true in the physical world? Are you trying to control or are you trying to sort of manipulate the energy and you'll be able to tell and the divine will be able to tell because you just desire something desperately. And that's the difference. Forcing something and just surrendering to it because if it's already yours, the rest does not matter. So even if we are saying yes externally to ourselves, the only energy that will truly know if you're ready to reunite is the divine because that's the purest form. It isn't when you say you're ready, it's when you have let go and detached. When you already know that it's yours, when you aren't focused on the how, the when, or what, or even what you should be doing, it's whenever whatever is mine is already mine, so the rest really does not matter. Your twin flame is you and the other you walking this earth. So let go of all the other things, what others say, what others believe, because it isn't the when, the how, or what you need to be doing to make it true. It is what you should become in order to believe it to be true. Who are you becoming? So... I hope that this assisted many of you out there. Until next time, I'm Aura, and this is A Twin Flame Journey.